Uh, this morning, Pakistan undertook a series of highly coordinated and specifically targeted precision military strikes against terrorist hideouts in Sistan of Balochistan province of Iran. A number of terrorists were killed during the intelligence-based operation codenamed Markbar Sarmachar. Over the last several years, in our engagements with Iran, Pakistan has consistently shared its serious concerns about the safe havens and sanctuaries enjoyed by Pakistani origin terrorists call is, calling themselves Sarmachars on the ungoverned spaces inside Iran. Pakistan also shared multiple dossiers with concrete evidence of the presence and activities of those terrorists. However, because of lack of action on our serious concerns, these so-called Sarmachars continue to operate against Pakistan with impunity. This morning's action was taken in light of credible intelligence of impending large-scale terrorist activities against Pakistan by these terrorists. This action is a manifestation of Pakistan's unflinching resolve to protect and defend its national security against all threats. The successful execution of this operation is also a testimony to the professionalism of the armed forces of Pakistan. Pakistan will continue to take all necessary steps to preserve the safety and security of its people, which is sacrosanct, inviolable, and sacred. Pakistan fully respects the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The sole objective of today's act was in pursuit of Pakistan's own security and national interest, which is paramount and cannot be compromised. As a responsible member of the international community, Pakistan upholds the principles and purposes of the UN Charter, including territorial integrity and sovereignty of member states. Guided by these principles and in exercise of our legitimate rights within international law, Pakistan will never allow its sovereignty and territorial integrity to be challenged under any pretext or circumstances. Iran is a brotherly country, and the people of Pakistan have great respect and affection for the people of Iran. We have always emphasized dialogue and cooperation in confronting common challenges, including the menace of terrorism, and will continue to endeavor to find joint solutions. The Prime Minister of Pakistan, Anwar Bhak Kakar, who is currently in Davos to attend the 54th annual meeting of the World Economic Forum, has decided to cut short his visit in view of the ongoing developments. At the WEF, Prime Minister participated in the informal gathering of the world economic leaders and delivered keynote address at an event titled Trade Tax Trillion Dollar Promise and held meetings with participating leaders on the sidelines. Foreign Minister Jalil Abbas Jilani is in Kampala, Uganda to participate in the 19th summit of the heads of state and government of the non-aligned movement and the third south summit of the group of 77 in China. His participation in these important summits is a reflection of the high priority Pakistan attaches to promoting cooperation among the global south, including on issues related to sustainable development. The foreign minister has also cut short his visit in light of the recent developments. The 14th of January marks a painful milestone for the human conscience. It was the 100th hun day of Israel's war in Palestine, which has taken over 24,000 lives in Gaza, a toll that is escalating with each passing day. The staggering number includes almost 10,000 children and over 6,700 women. The indiscriminate violence by Israel has to end. Humanity must prevail. The international community should play its part in saving the people of Palestine from the barbaric acts of the occupation authorities. The month of January carries painful memories of three massacres committed by the Indian forces in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir 
during the 1990s. Over 50 innocent people were martyred and hundreds were injured when Indian troops had opened indiscriminate fire on peaceful protesters in Gokadal area of Sirinagar on 21st of January, 1990. A few days later, on the 25th of January, 1990, at least 21 unarmed Kashmiris were martyred by the Indian troops in North Kashmir's Handwara town. On 27th January 1994, a day after India's Republic Day, Indian troops massacred 27 civilians in Kupwara town. We remember the ma martyrs of these massacres and pay rich tributes to their sacrifices. The perpetrators of these massacres should be held accountable. Pakistan will continue to extend political, diplomatic, and moral support to our Kashmiri brothers and sisters for settlement of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions. I thank you.